The vision for 2017 is simply this, to grow. In 2017, I believe that God was pushing us into some areas of growth. In fact, that was the vision for 2017, was to grow. Grow in our giving, grow in our relationships, grow in our outreach, and grow in our worship. You know, I saw individuals in our church that just skyrocketed in their faith. I saw people that went through problems and trials, and yet they were holding on to that sacrificial obedience, that worship. They knew that their lives were to be uh, pressing in continually and growing in their walk with God. I saw sacrificial giving this year. I saw us grow uh, relationally. I saw people make friends and I, I, I saw people in the, the outreach teams just going out and you know some of the numbers from this past year alone are phenomenal when you think about the volume of what this church does to grow in that reach and not only uh, in, in what we currently do but also in the desire, in the heart, you know, that internal growth, I think was more important than the external thing with the numbers. Those are, those are wonderful and we love seeing those, but really the star of this, this story is what happened in people's lives. To be honest, the main thing really that has happened for us in, in La Roca was the move from the youth sanctuary onto the main sanctuary. And this is a step of faith doing something that we've never done, being in a bigger room, doing greater things in that way. And I can assure you, it was amazing. I believe we're gonna reach into what God wants for us in a greater way. This year we were able to grow in our outreach by bringing in nine million pounds of food and drinks. Because we were able to bring in so many items in through our food distribution center, we were able to reach out a lot more and touch so many other ministries. We were able to respond with Houston when the hurricanes hit. We were able to respond with Puerto Rico and send resources to them. I've seen Jesus move greatly um, in the, the lives of these youth. I've seen teenagers come in and, and you know just have a lot of bondage and, and just issues, whether it's insecure, just open their hearts to God, but also open their hearts to just receive the Holy Spirit and, and communicate with the leaders. 2017 was a great year for the children's ministry. We had over 100,000 kids uh, attend our classrooms from ages zero to sixth grade. We had over 7,000 classrooms open to hold all those kids. Uh, we rolled out a bunch of special programs. Our special needs program was is just on fire. We have some new energy. We have We have new teachers in there. So 2017 was a great year for the children's ministry and we can't wait for what 2018 brings. Rockin' Street Homeless Ministry, uh, we were able to come out here and be a blessing. A uh, couple experiences, we did a baby shower here, we did a movie night here at the park. Uh, we also got several families into apartments, so they're no longer living in the streets. So that's all God and it's just amazing to see what God's doing and, and the new year to come that he's about to do, so we're just excited. So what took place in the lives of women this year at the conference? I kept hearing the Holy Spirit say, bring Marilyn Hickey in. And Marilyn Hickey brought us to a new realm and to a deeper way of wanting to be hungry for the Word of God. And to see that, here's this woman in her 80s going to Pakistan still and Egypt and doing all these things. I watched God do some incredible things in the hearts of the women. And I met so many incredible people because they decided to come and they brought their kids, find hope again, and, and see that there's more to life. I believe that's what Women Rock Conference did this year.
we get to love people, we get to tell someone about Jesus, we get to build the kingdom of God. What a beautiful expression of Christmas. Jesus came so that we could serve others. He came to serve us. What an awesome way to give back. We went into 18 convalescent homes. We loved on people, gave them um, like a shoebox of gifts, and the kids actually brought it to them. What a beautiful love expression. Now, girls' night out, that was a big faith step. That was, I'm not sure if we're crazy step. Let's just try two of them. We saw 3,250 women come to girls' night out. It was amazing. We had the Katinas come out and those Amazing men of God spoke right to the hearts of us women. We had um, the drama team pull out all of their gifts and talents. We had the dance team show off for Jesus and celebrate Him in a new way. I loved watching everybody pull what God has put inside of them together for the kingdom, to build the kingdom of God. The first message that was ever preached at the Rock Church Moral Outreach Center by Pastor Jim Cobray was Isaiah 58, talking about that you will be like a well-watered garden, that the things that take place inside of the church will spill out into the streets and you will be called a restorer of the breach, a repairer of the streets. And those waste places now will be built up once again. And really that's part of the reason why we do what we do in outreach, why we do what we do to reach people, why we do altar calls. All of those things comes from that place of us loving people to life and building them back up again to what God has called them to be. In 2018, I just have an anticipation that there's new things ahead of us. I believe that uh, there are areas that God wants us to stretch out and to reach. Uh, here in the house, people are just going to go deeper with the Lord. There's gonna be uh, the messages and, and just build us deep on the inside as well from that place of strength to stretch us out into our communities, into the neighborhoods. I believe that there's gonna be families getting saved, people who have prayed for decades for loved ones that they're gonna see at the altar. Uh, you know, uh, I believe that missionaries and, and things all over the world are going to take place from this place because of what God wants to do. This is the Rock Church and World Outreach Center. And, and the greater things are ahead of us than we've done in the past. The past is wonderful and we're building on the past. And so 2018 is going to be that year. It's going to be a year that launches us into some new areas. It's going to be the start of some new things and it's going to be great.